Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. There are many ways in which you can apply some sort of animation to your Flash movie. Shape tweening is a method used to apply simple animations to primitive shapes such as size, shape, location, and rotation changes. Now when you want to make a shape rotate, you'll find you get a lot better results using motion tweening at symbols than shape tweening at primitive shapes. But shape tweening works well when you want to actually change the shape of an object. For example, changing a square to a circle. Now something you'll want to keep in mind is that Flash has to process each change in a primitive shape as a new primitive shape, which can increase the download time and also increase your file size. Now to use shape tweening to animate a primitive shape on the stage, you have to first select the primitive shape in the correct frame of the timeline. So let's say we've got a new document in layer 1, frame 1, we've got a keyframe inserted, and we're going to make a primitive shape, and we're just going to make a circle first. So we'll draw our circle, and we're going to align it in the middle of the stage. So we can do that by going to Modify Align, and we'll make sure it says to stage, that's got to be checked, and then we'll choose horizontal center and vertical center, but I don't like having to come in to modify and then align and then horizontal center and then back to modify and then align and then vertical center, so I'm just going to do control alt 2 and control alt 5, which I can see here from the menu bar of the keyboard shortcuts, so sometimes that's a lot easier. So we'll just select our circle, line it horizontally, align it vertically, so it's in the same place in both frames so then what we do is we choose the frame at which we want the tween to end. So let's say we choose frame 24. We're going to need to insert a keyframe there so that we can input the changes since it's only at the keyframes that Flash notates changes. What it's going to do then is fill in all the frames between the first frame and in this case the last frame, frame 24, with individual frames that show the transition from the first keyframe to the second keyframe. And so that's why they call these tweens, because it's what happens between the two keyframes. So in this case, we're going to right click and we're going to say insert keyframe. And that will insert the keyframe and all the contents versus just a blank keyframe where we'd have to recreate the contents. So we're going to go back to frame one and we're going to select this object. And you can see right now it's just a primitive shape. What we need to do is we need to apply a tween so that from this point to this point we'll see a change in the object. So here in this keyframe our first object wasn't copied so we're just going to copy it there now. So we'll click on our shape, we'll copy it, We'll click on that last keyframe where we want it to appear, number 24 there. We'll say Edit, Paste in Place, and then we're going to make some modifications to the shape. So we're going to make sure it's selected, and then we're going to click our Free Transform tool. And I'm going to hold down Alt to change both directions at once, and then click and drag. I'm just going to squish our circle a little bit. So that's the shape that I want it to turn into. So from this to this. So what I have to do is I have to select a frame in between. So it could be the last frame of the previous frame or this frame here, it really doesn't matter. Just select the frame in the timeline and we're going to select right click and then we're going to choose create motion tween. Now here's what's happening. It's inserted a tween but it's not the exact tween we wanted. It's a motion tween. But it's kind of like text boxes, how you just use the text tool and you draw your text box and then you choose whether you want it to be static or dynamic or input. It's kind of like that. We're putting in a tween and it just defaults to motion, but we can change it back into a shape tween. Now, the type of color that the tween shows in the timeline indicates the type of tween it is as well. So you should see an arrow for all your tweens, and purple indicates it's a motion tween. Now, if you want to change the tween into a shape tween, you can click anywhere in the tweens, use the tween drop-down in the properties panel, and choose shape. 
Okay, at this point you can see it's turned green, and green does indicate a shape tween. However, notice that there's a dashed line instead of a solid arrow. That indicates a broken tween that's not working. And you can look in the properties panel for an exclamation point, and you can click it to see why. So it says that shape tweening will not occur on layers containing symbols or grouped objects. And what happened is, when we applied the tween, it created a motion tween, and it changed the first primitive shape into tween 1 and tween 2. So if we use our selection tools here, and I'm on frame 24, and I click on this, down in the properties panel, it tells me it's a graphic, and it's an instance of tween 2. So what happens is when we've created a motion tween, it turns our symbols into graphics and turns them into symbols then. Problem is, shape tweens can't have symbols in the layer. So the motion tween, which is the only way to create a shape tween, screws up the fact that you're trying to create a shape tween. It's probably the most irritating and stupid thing I've ever seen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our first shape, and we're going to select it with our selection tool. We're going to choose Modify and Break Apart. So that's going to turn it back into a shape. Terrific. Now we're going to jump out to frame 24. Make sure that graphic is selected. Once again, Modify, Break Apart changing it back into a primitive shape, which you can see down here in the properties panel. Okay, at this point, we don't even need the tweens that are in the library. You can just delete those out. And surprisingly enough, if we look up in our timeline, our shape tween has composed itself, and it's no longer a broken line. It is a actual arrow. And since it's green, we know it's a shape tween. So it takes a little bit to work with these, and it's certainly counterintuitive and very difficult if you're first learning the program. But that's how you can create a shape tween. Now at this point, you can then select the tween, and let's take a look at some of the properties that we can set for the tween down in the properties panel. So we have the ease slider bar, which affects the speed at which the animation begins and ends. And it can go anywhere from negative to 100 to positive 100. Or you can just type a number into the field instead of using a slider. Now, if a positive number is set, then the tween starts at normal speed and gradually slows at the end. If a negative number is set, it starts slowly and increases to normal speed. The blend dropdown has two options for how the shape morphs itself, distributive or angular. A distributive blend will result in smoother shapes throughout the tween, whereas an angular blend will try to retain more of the corners and straight lines of the shape even as it's changing. So if you try to apply an angular blend to something like a circle, Flash is going to automatically revert it back to a distributive blend. You can also apply a sound. And there's the sync events as well. Now if you would like to preview your shape tween, you can click on the first frame in the timeline, and then click and drag the playhead to the right. This is called scrubbing the timeline, and it gives you an idea of how this is going to look as far as the animation goes. You can also go to Control and Test Movie, and just publish and test the movie. So there is our shape tween. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!